am a city, a living city. I shelter and protect my people. They're my children, and we're a busy, healthy, happy family. Helping each other, we've grown strong and prosperous, enjoying many benefits and advantages. But growing wasn't easy. We had to learn to grow. We had to learn to live with each other. And learning was long, often painful. There was a time when I was only a humble village. My family, a mere handful of houses. My children were few. They worked and laughed. And when life was done, they journeyed to another peaceful village. Life was simple. Then as the years rolled by, my family grew. New people came, seeking the advantages and protection of city life. I adopted them all, for I was proud to be growing into a city. But growing meant crowding. And as crowding increased, so did our problems. The water supply became a constant source of worry. It was sufficient for the needs of a few, but unable to satisfy the increased demand. Yes, there was the river, but here lurked disease, for the waters of the river had been spoiled by sewage, bathing, washing of clothes. This precious bit of water was no longer fit to quench man's thirst. Life for my children became a struggle. There were now thousands of mouths to feed. The markets, the stores, the street vendors were busy from dawn to dusk. The cry was for food, food, still more food. Indifferent to the dangers of disease-carrying flies or filthy rodents. Indifferent to the menace of food waste and rubbish rotting in the streets, yes, and even about the homes. There were not enough facilities for the disposal of human waste. People used the river banks, or worse yet, the streets. The trees were scarce, neglected. In this condition, they were a menace, not a help. Flies, rats, lice, disease carriers all, unchallenged. Still, I kept growing. My children had crowded together to share each other's joys and comforts, but alas, they now were forced to share their sorrows, their sickness. Epidemics were common, leaving countless victims in their wake. Victims of carelessness. Yes, I had grown from a village to a city. But the other village had grown even more. What was to be my fate? Were my children doomed to live under the constant shadow of death? A remedy must be found. And a remedy was found. Cleanliness. But how could they be clean without water? Yes, water. Good, clean water. My children built a reservoir. A chemical substance was added, which purified the water, but would not cause illness. The water flowed through underground pipes, properly laid to prevent leaks, for leaks waste water and expose it to contamination. Water, clean, pure water, available at last in every home. Yes, an abundance of water soon improved living conditions, but that was only the first step. They now faced a new and more important problem. How to dispose of human wastes. But my children were resourceful. A sewer system built underground was the answer. Through its pipes, the waste waters were carried out beyond the city limits where they were disposed of in a safe and scientific manner. Today, we're still growing, but we're learning, too. In the new sections, where all these facilities are not yet installed, my children have access to pure water from nearby hydrants. They have well-kept sanitary latrines, 
for they know that only in this way can they keep their surroundings clean and free of dangerous disease. It's a far cry from the dark days of carelessness and filth. Gone are the women who wash their clothes in the polluted waters of the river. For now, the community laundry offers better, cleaner facilities. Here, my children use separate compartments, which do away with the danger of using water soiled by another. Yes, step by step, we're becoming a cleaner family. The sordid streets are only a shameful memory. Gone forever are the food wastes and rubbish. Gone now are the rats which feasted upon the garbage and in turn bred pestilence. Gone too are the swarms of house flies ready to spread disease. Garbage is now collected from every house to be disposed of by proper methods. And gone are the stagnant pools of rainwater, for my streets are paved and equipped with storm drains. Yes, I am proud of my clean, safe streets. And proud, too, am I of the marketplaces, which reflect the vigilance of the merchants to safeguard my children's health. Fresh, crisp vegetables, shielded from the withering rays of the sun. Choice cuts of meat in glass cases. Our daily bread, clean food, fancy food, a thousand and one varieties but nothing is exposed to the dangerous flies. No longer are my children careless about the cleanliness of their foods, of their streets and homes, of their bodies. A cheerful, healthy environment, that is the reward of carefulness. Yes, my children have learned their lesson well. They have learned that to live with each other, they must protect each other, lest the carelessness of one threatens the security of all. But the fight against filth goes on. The fight against disease is never ended. Helping each other ever watchful, we face the future confidently. For we know that a city will protect its people as long as its people protect their city. Thank you.